What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new video. And back to my showcase where I show you guys my first experience with every single fire in Undisputed. And today we're using Cecilia Bracus. This was pre-update. Normally I wouldn't show you guys a pre-update fight, but the only thing they increased was her tra they gave her a trait. Other than that, her stats are the same. And this fight is so good and razor thin throughout. Dead close, great fight. I personally believe that all of the women's divisions need to be completely restarted. I think whoever done it, done it with very little care. I'm sorry to be a dick, but I just think that's the way it is. But anyways, you can see that she's an 84 overall and a boxer puncher. Her key stats, really, they're all pretty fair, but the top two are heart and stamina. If we go across to do the stat breakdown, the ones that jump out are stamina recovery and 87. The jabs and hooks are both at 87s. And block regeneration and courage both at 87 as well. No 90s here for Celia Brackers. I don't know if I really agree with that. I think she should be improved in some areas. But overall, she is the definition of a solid fighter in the division. She's not bad at anything and she doesn't excel in any one direction. But you can definitely see that you want to put the jabs and hooks together. One thing I really tried to do was use my backhand hook to pivot with the back instead of pivoting with the lead hook i tried to pivot with the backhand hook and it was a really interesting game plan and kind of worked for me but she's absolutely fantastic to use the trait she does have as distance keeper but we're going to ignore that because in this fight she did not have it uh, it was pre-update either way a really good fight and it is a shame that like the female fighters get less attention in terms of views on youtube in terms of just in general it's a real shame because these fighters in this game and in real life the, the their, their counterparts are more like are fantastic but in game they're absolutely awesome in this video we fight alicia napoleon i believe that's how you pronounce her name really tough fight a bit laggy because this was during early access's messier stage pre-update where just the connection was just meh but Overall, it's a really good fight. The connection isn't all over the place. We're not, like, shifting, like, teleporting all over the place. It's just a little bit iffy from time to time. But uh, I want to show you guys this one because it's a really good fight. And, yeah, enjoy. So my first time in the women's welterweight division against Alicia Napoleon. I'm using Cilia Bracus. Um, there has been a little bit of problem with connection lately in the game. A little bit just like the connection's not quite as stable. But I wanted to get on and I wanted to play, you know. And yeah, we're just going to see what we can do. She's got a nice uh, nice jab, nice hook. Every shot is really nice. All all those those mid, mid to high 80s. So I'm going to try and set things up with the body shot today. Not something I do often. I'm going to say off rip, by the way, I truly believe that all of the women in this game need to be completely and utterly rebalanced. I think that the balancing for the women is terrible. I think they've done a terrible job with it. Um, and that's just being completely honest. I think that they all need to be completely rebalanced. I don't believe, whoever balanced them, I don't believe they watched many of the fights for each woman. I'm going to cover up here. Oh, through the guard. Oh, got to get used to these little short arms. I'm feeling outranged here. Trying to meet in the middle, though, as opposed to just... Big power uppercut there. Okay, interesting round. Uh, she feels okay, to be honest. Good, decent speed. Not not too fast. I'd rather I'd be a bit faster, but she feels good. She feels good. Nice body shot to headshot combinations. Oh, nice. Kind of jab to uh, her lead towards her lead hand and land the back hook body shot uh, that's always an interesting one to throw so you go that way and then land that like that you see it's always a nice one to throw oh good stuff oh big power uppercut there nice 
I still think the range on the uppercuts needs to be uh, lowered a touch. I, I do think that it's it's not quite where it needs to be. Because you can land a, an uppercut from any range and it's a bit silly really. Nice jab to the body there again. Jab to the body. Straight up top but I missed the straight. That's fine. Oh nice jab. Oh, I'm missing. I'm missing. I'm missing some shots here. These two were made for each other. Oh, nice sidestep there. A lot of sidesteps coming this way. Two body shots there to end the round. Interesting fight. I got a lot of. She's sidestepping a lot. Um, kind of want to try and catch her. Right now, there's no real vulnerability for sidestepping, which is a shame. Um, seems to have entered loose movement. Oh, nice body counter. So far it seems like aggression has been the key. This fighter just not slowing down. Sometimes when you have a fight, the best way to beat a fight is not Oh, nice jab. Nice straight there. Trying to work the stamina down a little bit of her cuz she is she is throwing at some pace. Gonna circle a little bit here, do a little back step, get out of the way. No, fair play. Pretty uh pretty competitive stuff here. That was a big power hook I landed there. I like her to be honest. I like um, Cecilia Bracker. She feels pretty good. She feels pretty good. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I really am. Uh, yeah, I'm quite enjoying this fight to be honest. I wonder who's up. Uh, me, apparently. Good amount of body assault going on here, isn't there? Nice power straight there, just snap right through the chin. You've got someone with the hand speed that this fighter possesses. How do you deal with it? This game is so frustrating. When you're in such a fast fighter, fast fighter can throw three full shot combinations before you even let one off. That creates frustration, and that's when it gets hard. Some nice exchanges from both women in this round. Right hook. She 
He can't miss with that jab. Oh, nice back step hook counter there from her. I reckon she's won this round. Okay, interesting fight so far. You can definitely feel there's a bit of connection issue, especially... Like, the, the update I know has, like, really helped, and then it caused some issues. Like, this same per- I've fought this person a couple of times, because I've been staying away from ranked and unranked, so I invite, I invite like, a ton of different people. Um, and we've always had stable green, at worst, yellow connection. So, you can definitely tell there's an issue going on. But I wanted to get on and play, so. Oh, I tried to follow up with another, another hook. Normally I wouldn't, I wouldn't bother. Oh. Normally I wouldn't bother, but these two are the perfect dance partners. She can't miss with that right jab. Oh, nice step in, um, nice step in uh, backhand hook there. Again, that's, oh, that's a nice fast hook, uh, hook that she's got there. I like that. Oh, I like that a lot. You know, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of that shot. Bang. Bang. Oh. Try to land the big power uppercut there. Try to land some little check lead hooks there, but to no avail, unfortunately. Oh, miss me with that. Okay, so far, good fight, close fight. I don't think we're going to see too much damage from these these ladies. Um, I, I, I said recently, I'm going to make a whole video about it. So for those of you that are watching this one um, and have got this far, um, I'm going to make a whole video about the damage thing because I think people are misinformed about the damage. And I think people are worried about hand shots. You can knock someone down, by the way, with probably 20 body shots if you just land them in a row. But... You can't knock them down with 50 chin shots. Now, the difference there is it's chin to body. It's not nothing to do with the damage in the hands. Trying to land a little bit less now. Or at least throw a little bit less and be more accurate. So, I, I believe the problem is chins are overpowered. Just gonna keep jabbing until she <laughs> until she leaves me alone. Back up. Is she wanting to brawl on the inside. We're both just sinking in those hooks and those uppercuts. Ah, I tried to create that angle with the backhand hook. Instead of going forward with the backhand hook, I tried to create the angle going um, towards the back foot. Like that a little bit. Kind of a nice shot to create, really. Dead even fight, apparently. I respect it. That 
jab doesn't find a home. Right punch. These fighters certainly not going to outthrow their opponent by any means, but they will when they hit be a lot harder. Hard. We know one of these fights can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that powerful. She scores with that right. Nice shots. Nice shots again. Yeah, you can when you slip, you can definitely see the the, the, the new tracking is in place. Not a huge fan of it, to be honest. I'm not a huge fan of the new tracking. I think it's a bit... I think it's a bit over gross, to be honest. confidence do you build when your opponents hit you with their best shot and you walk right through? I've seen some fighters with a granite chin. You can hit them with a sledgehammer. They are not going to move. But then I've seen some mad punches with a chin like a So now we're just trading. Now we're just trading with each other. Oh, tried to use the jab and lead hook. It's a combination I really like. Just jab and lead hook. It is same same hand, but you can you can land some absolute treasures with it. Really, you can. Say by the bell. That was perfect as well. To be honest, absolutely perfect. Wearing her down with the jab, the straight and the backhand hook. I created that lovely angle to rock her with the straight. Again, create the angle with the straight. So not it's what you got to do sometimes. You just got to create the angle. Get away from that backhand, you know. That's what I'm doing. I'm just getting away from that backhand because I, I know I'm not. I've not got the most health in the world, so I'm trying to get away from the backhand a little bit. Oh, see, nice combination there, mixing up all sides of the head, all sides of the hands. Nice body shot. Now I'm putting the the pressure on her a little bit more. She's not really wanting to stand still now, is she? Oh, that'd have been heavy. Nice combination, the jab followed by the backhand uppercut one of my faves you're a power puncher you're not as concerned with how many punches you throw it's about how many you land and how hard they are you've got to be courageous when you get in there with someone that's bigger stronger and faster you've just got to use brain this round could go either way 10 seconds to go nice shot again just created that angle, you know, just that, that sidestep angle, hit her with that straight right on that, that temple, that side of the head. I have noticed that you do get more rocks and more stuns when you do create smart angles, but it's so tough with the connection. See, like that, you, you get some nice shots when you create those unique angles, really. It's not even unique, I wouldn't say, just a basic pivot to the side. But I want to see if he wants to brawl here. Because I reckon he's more hurt than me. Yeah, I kind of want to see if he wants to brawl a little bit. I'm not going to lie. Might be really dumb of me, but I'm kind of... I'm kind of wanting to see. Oh! My... What the f... What happened there? Two lovely shots. Backhand to rock. Lead hand to drop. I've taken this round. Time to get on my bicycle.
Not really. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna push the pressure too much because this is how it always lose fights. Oh god, it's so. Oh, nice lead. Check lead hook, followed by the straight. Back away. Stamina is so important for these two fighters because it allows them to use their skills throughout the match. It can all come down to who's in better shape. Just going to stay busy, you know. Hurt her a bit more if I can. Watch out for the counters. The counter power straight created that little angle again. And I should have taken this, assuming there is no discrepancies. I'm going to try and get the knockout, though. I'm going to go for it. But i got to watch. See, look, i got to watch that, man. I'm getting caught with smart combinations, you could argue. You know what? I, I rarely use the backhand hook, but with Brackus, it feels so nice. All right, calm down. Calm down, buddy. Oh. Trying to create those little sideways angles towards the lead hand, but I'm struggling this round. Massive shots I'm landing. These are big ones. These are the big ones, boys. What? Oh, she's going for broke, I think. Oh. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. I don't know who won that. Let's go. Good win. Good win. Good win. I reckon it was close. I reckon it was close. I reckon I won probably six to four. Five to five on the money. But the knockdown stopped it being a draw. Wow. What a victory that was. Let's have a look. 103 jabs landed, 63 straights, 124 hooks, 54 uppercuts, 41 power punches. Man, the backhand hook just felt good, that. That just felt good all fight. And we really took turns in rounds. Look at that, the way we took turns. What round was it I dropped him? So I was winning that round anyways, but that would have been a draw. 82 of 100 body shots. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. That was a good fight. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. If you have, drop a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.